Hey, I'm Kev Kim. Let's go we'll back to MotoGP 20 as Stone Return to Anyways. Also, after another freedom battle with the Leopards as new circuit, new helmet chain. So we've got a few helmets to choose from. So go for a very bright and colourful helmet here. Which I think we've actually already worn. I can't remember now, actually. We'll go for the pink design. Mostly, we have a scary face on the back. <laughs> I don't know why the devil's roid. Get another very colourful design there. But I think we'll go with the one with the shark on the top. As if I go back and actually show it off for you. You can see there's a shark at the top. Mostly red and white as you can see. Got the GoPro sponsor on as well. And there you go, there's the shark right on the top. And that kind of goes with the uniform a bit better as well as so you've got lots of green, lots of yellow because we're down under in Australia around the Philip Island circuit. So let's head there and hopefully do well. It's pretty close down here as a guru at the top by 1,000 of a second ahead of Bautis who's he's just 3,000 ahead of Foggia, Yamanaka and Sasaki, 9,000 ahead of Fanati. 12,000 ahead of Alcoba, 21,000 ahead of Tatai, 30,000 ahead of Arena. Stone in 10th is 69,000 behind the Gura. Nice, as they've got Magic 84,000 back. And then we have a gap to 12, who's 5 tenths back, 5 tenths to Salak and Suzuki. And they've got Fernandez, Rossi, Mino, Arbolono, Cooney, Powerly. But all the way down to 25th, just 9 tenths. Separate the top 25. Just 1.2 seconds covers the whole freaking field. As uh, so we get to see who joins the 14 in qualifying 2. Will it be Mino, Fernandez, Rossi and Napa as well. Good job from the Italian. Uh, so here we go qualifying then in Australia. No signs of rain with insights, thankfully. Down under has got 39.6 to beat. That's the Saki. Uh, it's easy flat through the first quarter. It's amazing how flat out you are in this first section. Just slight let up through the left. But hard on the power. And the 500 is up on the Japanese rider. Looking to bounce back up the disappointing home race. As into the hairpin, should see some good moves into that. Should be one of the main passing spots, like the other hairpin coming up. As we go through the left, Art Peel. Oh, Arva taking up his stone. Now he's pushing hard. As here is that left, so he's got this left first going. Kind of Art Peel. And then down and in to the right. Got seven tenths now. And then the final couple of corners flat out through both of them on the motor free machine. And a bump again, not really that big heading into this final corner now. So you don't, it's just easy, easy for that now. As uh, so you power towards the line. And get into the 38, 38, 9. Uh, Stone on pole by half a second ahead of Mazia and Agura on the front row, just ahead of uh, Japanese rider Sasaki, Baltus, and Fanati. And we've got Tatai leading the third row of Yamanaka and Alcoba. And then it is Foggy ran out of the top 10 ahead of Arenas and Antonelli with a decent qualifying for once for the Sync 58 by Will. Decent for them. Then we've got Sanak, Fernandez, and Suzuki. And finally, Rossi, Mino, and Nepa on the sixth row. So we've got eight long laps here, but we put it up to nine again because of especially that front long stretch. And then as you can see, track temperature just above. We should be using soft. So maybe soft medium. Just be cautious with that rear tire because we will be sliding it round here. And we'll see who else is going to be a bit cautious. And soft, soft for Mazia, medium, medium for Gura, soft, medium for Sasaki. Soft for Venati, soft medium for Yamanaka, otherwise medium medium seems to be the way to go. Soft medium for Arenas, medium soft for Suzuki. And Antone and Rossi is soft medium. 
So let's see if that works out for Suzuki as he works his way up the field. Soft, soft for Cooney. And Paoli, Jason. Soft, medium. Soft, medium for Lopez. Medium, soft for Rodrigo as well. So here's Stone revving up, making sure everything's set to the right positions and get underway in Australia for eight laps. And it's magnificent for Pardon and Sir getting a superb start on the pole, man. Should hopefully be pulling away. Oh, he's behind. Just notice we've got to change the gloves. They're still red. I swear I changed them to green or yellow. Obviously not. Uh, oh, he's got Mazzi down the inside. I think that is. It is. Got Fanati right behind as well. So the Airpod into the lead. But through Stoner Corner. Oh, stone hit by Mazia. Got some light damage now. How will that affect him for the rest of this race? As the side got the 25th ahead of Binder. Mazia behind. So still in second, ahead of Fanati. Or not. Well, you jinked the man. As Vietti up to 19th, ahead of Garcia. We've got Cooney and Powerly, then over 16th. Stone sliding the bike into there, being three tenths to gap. We know he's got that light damage. How that affects him down this stretch? Has got Powerly in the top 20. That's once again Stone messing with the near pods in a race. Uh, so you've got Antone up to Fernando Mazzard and Fanati. Fuki Fogger up to second. We've got Mino. Lopez rounds out the top 10 behind Arenas and Yamanaka. So we'll stone a bit wide through the left. Lopez up to ninth. Uh, so he's got Suzuki right in his tail. Stand the Pied Piper at the moment, leading. Quite a few riders behind. It's all stone a bit wide into the hairpin. But holds on to the lead just. There's Mazzi up to fifth head of Fanati. Might have to go down the first into that corner, just not getting the traction out of there. But this is like an over race really, old typical motor free race really, with all the draft and slip streaming to get round it. It's hard to separate yourself. That's uh, 30 up to an overhead of Salak. Guru. Battling for 17th for power leap. Stone very ginger into there, pin that. I've got on tune 28. Anthony up to fourth head of Mazia. But feeding to the point head of Fernandez. Is that the final corner? Let's see if Stone can pull away, maybe. As the Sink 58 boys are battling behind Antonelli. Now ahead of Suzuki. There's 40.3 pretty slow. The top seven are kind of pulled away from Lopez, Vietti, and Arenas now. Let's go to the first corner a bit wide from Stone. That's allowed. Antonelli into the lead. And see, as soon as you break, you're on the power immediately. Oh, Suzuki into the lead. Has got Mazio in third. Stone held on. It's gone a bit wide in the hairpin. That's the old cut back on Suzuki. Even a bike strip on the inside. I well, send the GoPro on the team man just about these while well, just over it to him. But man, this is gonna be the whole race. We're just on lap three. Still got five and a bit more laps of this. Is Anthony battling hard in the top five? And it's like Suzuki's taking the lead as he 
We've seen Stone be a bit ginger. Into the hairpin. Stone with the cut back though on Suzuki. Sliding that through here. Through the left hand is the Japanese rider. Here goes Suzuki with the boost out of that final corner. As Foghead, her teammate Mazzi, and out. Up into the top three. As these are put, slightly pulling away now. As Suzuki with a 39 4. Very quick at that time from the Japanese rider. There's Paddy batting over 70. Got to see it. There's Mazzi back ahead of Foggy into four. Uh, it's all Suzuki, very wide. Where you go, man? There's Fanati, eight tenths behind. So, yeah, these two are pulling away. So, Stone has a little look. There's Mazda batting with Mino for fourth. We've got Fernandez and McPhee battling over 40. Suzuki with the switch back. While Stone just sits track on Suzuki, Foggia, eight tenths behind, and Stone takes the lead. As we approach halfway mark here, Fanati into the top five, Edifote and Mino. Oh, fuck. Suzuki with the brave move down the inside, through the left. How about into the right? As Stone taking the lead, the dead even into the hairpin. Stone has. We've got a rumble down under here. Let's fog back up to third over teammate Mazia. Asak into 11 of Edda 2, but powered up to 16 Edda Cobra. We've got Mazia Fog here. Fanati runs at the top five. Antonelli Mino. Lopez Fietti Arenas in 10th. The stone with the aggressive moves. Take back the lead. It's Fanati batting with Foe, Italian Antonelli, and Stone for 6 10 for a second lead. So you could probably have to back out there with that move on the outside from Stone. One of them had to back out. Eventually. The Moto 3 champion is definitely not going to be doing that. Uh, getting it down to first just seems to be will spinny. Uh, he's lost a tenth in that second sector. Uh, Slope is up to San Vedomino. There's uh, Antonelli up to fifth header for Nati. Stone seven tenths ahead. So he pulled back that tenth in that third sector. Normally in qualifying, it was the second sector really, which it stood out. And you saw it wasn't second and third sectors. Oh, it's got me not seven ahead of Lopez. Fogger up to second ahead of Suzuki. Stone into the 39s. Six and a second lead. It's got Arenas run out of the top 10, but a bit of drift now of the top 9. We seem to be grouping back up together again. With three laps to go. And here come the Leopards. That's Foggy. Really battering the Japanese rider. But feet up to Travis Salak. Half a second the lead. They're closing back in. Suzuki back up the second. But we drew up to 90 ahead of Alcoba. It's only an own glass that's gone to Jason. And now it's up to 30 ahead of McPhee. Oh, three quarters of a second the gap again. Getting about a couple of tenths in that second split. Arbolano into the points now ahead of Fernandez. So I'm getting more aggressive through that left hander. Uh, it's, oh, Paul breaking into the hairpin. 
He kept the gap in the third split and then he suddenly lost a few tenths. Now it's got C up to six here to his fellow Spaniard. I was here onto the penultimate lap here. In fear of Ireland. So with lots of excess fuel. And it's got two boom 40 bit of Bologna, Suzuki Foggy, then Massey leading the second group. They have Anthony Lopez, Fanati, Mino Vietti. But he's still rounding out the top ten. It's all stone a bit wide for the left. You can hear that little bug mind. Just a couple of tents now. Oh, it's Suzuki, he's back. He's regrouped. There's a Japanese rider. Oh, stone very wide. He's buckled under the pressure. With a lap and a half to go. Suzuki back into the lead. Oh, Suzuki gone very wide. Where is he going? He's got a side job here. Oh, Suzuki! Ow! Well, you saw he went very wide and he's gone down again. It's a Japanese rider. There's Arenas down as well from the top 10. 30 Stone and Foggy are batting for victory here. As uh, so we head on to the final lap. Oh, and Onshu down to quite a few victims late in the race here. As uh, Foggy takes the lead. Where's he got that boost from? You've got Anthony Mazza, Lopez, Finality. Vietti, Mino, and no one else is in the race now. I know you've got Yamanakan too, but okay. But Stone, you did see he left the buys with, but it's hard to judge because that is a flat out corner. As now Foggy goes away, we've got half a second behind, two Antonelli, three tenths. The Italian in front. I'm going to put one over Stone once again. Some of a massive amount of excess fuel. Got to use all of it in this second half. This final lap. Once again, Foggy very wide. They tend to get behind to Antonelli, so it's just between this top two of them for victory. Insane gaining all the time. Starting into the top five ahead of Lopez. Antonelli batting with Mazia behind for the final step on the podium. Oh, Foggy very wide. Stone all over the tail of the Italian. It's going to be a run to the line here. In fear of Ireland. Oh, he's going to win out. I think it's going to be the near pod. Foggy wins. Stone in second. Before we carry on. Here's the incident then, which took out Suzuki, just to demonstrate. So he's down the inside. It's tough to call as you go on Suzuki's onboard and it's just a bit wide. And if we look at it from four gears onboard then, so as you can see, in third place, you can see Suzuki doing a very really thin line going into the corner. And he's down the inside and goes a bit wide. Could just say it's a racing incident. As there goes to see Kibai into the gravel, unfortunately, for the Japanese rider. As Foggia wins by just over a quarter of a second ahead of Stone with Antonelli round out the podium ahead of Mazio by just the tenth. Then Lopez just there, Fanati by a tenth around at the top five. With Vietti behind and Mino McPhee with a great reside of Tuba. Arbolono, Yamanaka, who really drops in the last few laps. Then Salak, Garcia and Fernandez grabbing the final point ahead of Paoli. Gura, disappointing. Rodrigo, Alcoba and Cooney ran out the top 20 as Suzuki and Arenas failed to finish. 
So in the Riders Championship for Gus Virtue, guaranteed second now, 30 points ahead of Mazia after that victory. And the Spaniard just 11 points ahead of Fanart. you've got Suzuki in fifth. What could have been? He could be challenging for third in the championship now. With Antony up a couple of places, sit ahead of VAT with Mino down a couple to eighth. You've got Lopez and Arena's running at top 10. McPhee, Salak up to 12th now ahead of Agura. Oh, but I'm up to 18th ahead of Alcoba. As just four riders yet to score still. In the team championship, they are pod 84 points ahead. They can grab it next time out as well, I believe. Ahead of GoPro Honda Timo. 23 ahead of Max Racing. You're back up to third. And I think 50 ahead. They really are slugging out for that top three in the team's championship. In VR 46 in fifth. Closing in, actually. Just 26 points back of third. Now, a huge gap to Angonieta. Australia Galitza Snipers. Trying to sprinter. KTM ran out the top ten. Uh, Stone once again achieving all the objectives. He's secure. Getting lots of credits as well. Has... What have we got about the technical staff here? Okay, you could be high for next season. We'll, we'll keep you in the back of the mind. Okay. Stephanie. As uh, next up, it's the Shell Malaysia Motorcycle Grand Prix. And if I believe that, it's a penultimate weekend of the season. So after that, we've got a week's gap to Valencia. And then week 45, that's maybe when we make our decision on which team we ride on for next season. Uh, so we have received a proposal, but we can search for another contract as well. So we've gone for the Oakley speed up. Go for the Calyx as well. Might as well. And then what else can we look at? So there's an Oakley NTS team. Just getting all the Oakleys out of the way here. <laughs> and then... There's an Oakley MV Augusta as well, but... Panny's not good to go on that one. Shall we go for GoPro team as well? Moto2. See if they're interested too. I think that is it for the negotiations that we want. So we'll find out next time if they are interested and we'll help in our the shell motorcycle shell malaysia motorcycle grand prix i don't know why it's not malaysian why it's malaysia but anyway it might be the sponsor actually shell malaysia you never know but then it would make sense calling it mo malaysia most anyway we're going there for multiple round of the season next time to the patronus towers as well check that out Hope you're not afraid of heights, Stone. And again, we have a different livery and helmet design too for the penultimate round of the season. But, Southwatching, we'll find out if Stone can grab first next time.